Hey, Bass Geek here. You've heard of the Alabama shake when it comes to a swim jig. Today, I'm going to teach you the Tennessee two-step. This is the end. The end of the Mystery Tackle Box Pro giveaway. Now, don't worry, we're gonna replace it with something. I just wanna say thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for you know, teaming up with me for the past few years. I've learned a lot, I've found a lot of cool baits, but you guys just aren't claiming the boxes. So that tells me maybe you really don't care. Uh, maybe hit some people that are coming in that's not watching the channel consistently. And to be very honest with you, I do this for you guys that are always here, that are always watching, not for the people that are just tuning in for a giveaway. It's why I put things at the ends of videos. You, my loyal bass geeks, are the people I want to reward and pay back for being so loyal to me over the years. And, you know, so the giveaways, sometimes they help, sometimes they hurt, I think. I'm not gonna stop because I hope the ones that are here day in, day out, you know, hopefully more of you all win than anybody else. What are we gonna do? So I've got a really fun concept. We're still gonna do a how-to, you know, hopefully we're gonna do a little more in-depth of a how-to than we do with the boxes, but we're gonna start, I'm gonna do the Bass Geek box, and, and it's not gonna be a box. Like, it's not gonna be a subscription, uh, sorry guys. But I'm gonna pick like my favorite $50 worth of baits for that time of year. And I'm gonna buy them from Tackle Warehouse. And when I get them in, I'm gonna put them in a box and I'm going to do a how-to on one of them and I'm gonna give them away. So we'll just call it the Bass Geek box because well, there's no other, I don't have any other name for it. So the Bass Geek Box by Tackle Warehouse giveaway. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring on some of my professional friends, some pro anglers, and have them do some guest picks and maybe make a few short videos on like maybe a specific bait. Sometimes we'll have them pick a bait in the box. And I'm gonna reach out to some YouTubers and you know, we might have a box that'll cover the United States. So you'll get a ton of different baits, lures picked in that box. So it's not just gonna be me picking them all the time. I'm gonna try my best to stay on top of it, switch it up and get some, some different aspects of it. And then we're just gonna give it away. Now it's not gonna come in a fancy box it's going to come in probably United States Postal Service box you know hopefully we're going to you know and, and I'm going to reach out to some companies I think it'll be a a really good opportunity for some companies kind of do a featured box maybe Strike King or you know uh, you know Third Eye or you know uh, Cumberland Pro Lures or you know some of the companies that I've worked with in the past or I work with now I think it'd be a a great little deal to have, you know, to really change it up and put some quality products in your all's hands. You know, like right now, you know, the Mega Bass 110 plus ones are doing, I mean, yeah, that's a $20 lure, but how happy would you be to get one of those? And maybe one of my favorite colors. That's the kind of stuff I'm gonna do. All right, now enough about this box and the future. We can talk about that when the time comes. Tell me what you all think though in the comments about that. But let's get to giving this one away. So let's open it up. I hope you guys can hear me for the wind. It's windy today. I'm deep in a cove. And, you know, I know the light's not the greatest either. But bear with me, all right? Now, this is one of the things that I would put in one of my boxes. Maybe not this time of year for me, but maybe for some of you guys down south. But this is kind of their version of a toad. This is called the goat, and this is pearl white, which would be a color I would actually use. So this is actually a topwater bait, and I love that it's, you know, the Elastec stuff because it's going to float. So you don't have to continually reel it, and it's gonna have a great topwater action. We've got some spear point hooks. 
And since we're going to be talking about it, you know, I'm going to use one of mine so I don't use uh, lose yours. But from Beast Coast, got a really good looking working man's premium swim jig. I like that big eye on there. Good looking color. You know, you always get a cool sticker. From Headbanger, we got a topwater, kind of a topwater wake bait, that, you know, uh, jointed swim bait. From Lake Fort Trophy Lures, we've got a nice little creature bait, nice little paddle tail. Probably could be another lure that you could use on the top water if you cut that just right. From Arc Fishing, we've got the CT3 to five. So we've got a little square bill in there. Good time of year. As always, we got a nice little card talking about where to use one of the baits and the Dibble Digest. And then on top of that, we have what the baits would cost if you got them retail. So let's talk about rod, reel, and line setup for the Tennessee two-step. Now guys, I'm going to be the first to tell you the Tennessee two-step is something that it'd be kind of rough, like maybe right here, but right now it's not quite prime time for it where I live. But this is more of a post-spawn, pre-spawn, not necessarily when they're on the beds, but kind of a pre-spawn, post-spawn deal. The Tennessee two-step, so for you guys that don't know, when it comes to fishing a swim jig, um, a lot of people don't just throw it out there and reel it back. The Alabama shake is something where, and I'll show you the difference, you kind of shake your rod tip as you're reeling it back. The Tennessee two-step is more, it's almost like flipping, but you, you can cast it into a lay down or a brush pile and you're just like that. But anyway, we'll get deeper into retrieve once we stand up here and do a little fishing. That jig is a 5 16 which is one of my favorite sizes for the Tennessee two-step. Rod, reel, and line. This is, of course, my Akuma. This is my casting jig rod, but I also like it for throwing my swim jig into cover. This is a seven foot five, so a seven five uh, heavy, fast action, but it's actually got a great tip. I mean, I could easily fish and have fished jigs down to a quarter ounce. The line is always gonna be 100% fluoro, the Pro 100 by K9 Fishing, guys. K9 line is my go-to line. Now, this is an Akuma Helios SX reel, and that's my setup. It's pretty straightforward. Now, when it comes to fishing a swim jig for me, if I'm not fishing it, if I'm fishing a Tennessee two-step, it's very much like pitching, okay? So what I do with this is I put me a good trailer that's gonna have a lot of flap, that's gonna get me some rise, and I either make a cast or I go ahead and flip it in. And then we're just working it out all the way back to the boat. A couple different ways you can do it. But now let's jump up and I'll go show you the retrieves. All right, guys, so this is a perfect bank for what I'm talking about when I talk about the Tennessee two-step. Now, something that I like to do when I'm throwing this jig is I like to make sure I stay out away from the bank, cast straight up to the tree so that I'm working with the way the tree is laying and the branches. If you, can't, if you come over it this way, a lot of times you're gonna get hung. So you wanna work down the trunk a lot of times. So we're not in the right position. I'm gonna get us in the right position and I'm gonna show you the cast and the retrieve. All right, so you can see the brush back here, you know, behind us. And this might even be a little close, but you really wanna pay attention to how deep the tree's running. You know, and, and basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna make a nice little cast. And then you're gonna let it sink to the bottom and you're just gonna give it the two step. Now, if I feel like I need to fish the deep ends of this brush, I'm absolutely gonna fish a heavier weight. Now this is a half ounce, that 5 16 I think is a little bit better. But I really wanna come right down these tree trunks. I hope you can hear me for the wind.
and you want to feel it bumping that brush as much as you can if it's not bumping that brush when you're twitching it you want to make sure that you're letting it fall a little bit deeper and that folks is the tennessee two-step one of the biggest things you want to remember is you're really snapping your line you know you want to keep your line taut so that you can feel when they react so so when i throw it in there you know i'm letting it sink to the bottom but i'm following my line back down with my rod tip so i'm never actually letting it have full slack line okay because if you do that when that when you twitch it and then you get that slack and they hit it you can miss them a lot of times the other tip i can give you is don't ever get the rod tip too high when you're twitching it's right there it's from nine o'clock to 10 10 30 at tops that way if you're here and they hit it you can lay into them now guys this really shines when the shad spawn's going on all right really really shines when the shad spawn's going on post spawn most of the time for the bass when the shad or you know, I'll go with a bluegill color if the bluegills are up on the bed. Those are the times when I tend to have the most luck out of a uh, swim jig for me where I live. So give it a try sometime, see what you think about it. And uh, as far as trailer goes, like I said, I want something that's gonna be, you know, fat, like a rage bug, a rage menace is one of my favorites to throw on it but that's the sort of thing that I put on the back. So now, how can you win the box? Let's just do hashtag TN two-step, all right? Hashtag TN two-step, and you'll be entered to win this month's and the last Mystery Tackle Box Pro giveaway. As always, questions and comments in the comments section below. You guys know that I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, ring that bell so you get the notification of these videos come out. But as always, you guys rock.